why Tunumbu and other APC candidates must withdraw from 2023 elections, Labour Party. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. The Labour Party has called on the presidential candidate of the Year Progressives Congress, APC, Bola Tunumbu, and its running mate, Kashim Shetima, to withdraw from the 2023 election. The Labour Party also wants all the All Progressive Congress governorship candidates, the senatorial candidates, the House of Representatives and State Assembly candidates to drop the ambitions ahead of the 2023 elections. This was disclosed by the party's National Publicity Secretary, Abayomi Arabambi, in a statement to commemorate Nigeria's 62nd Independence Day anniversary. According to the statement, have made available to Daily Post on Monday, Araba and B accused the president, Muhammad Buhari led all progressive government, all progressive Congress government of running the nation into debt, saying Nigerians would not fail to vote out the all progressive Congress if its candidate refused to resign honorably. Araba and B maintained that the Buhari government in the first four months of 2022 revealed through the budget and planning ministry that, that the cost of debt Servicing has surpassed its revenue and the four months on that review. He claimed that the All Progressive Congress government spent a total of 4.2 trillion naira be- between January and April 2022 from the earmarked 17.32 trillion naira for the whole year. In this same four months, a sum of 285 billion naira was earned as all revenue. This represents a shortfall of 60.9% of the portrayed figure of 730.1 billion naira, he said. The Labour Party spokesman quoted the Director General of the Debt Management Office, DMO, Mrs. Patience Oniha, as having confirmed that Nigeria's total public debt stock representing domestic and external debt stock profile as of March 2022 stood at $41.60 trillion, and $42.84 trillion, approximately $103.31 billion, as of June 30, 2022. Arab said that dividing the debt figure by 200 million Nigerians, including 15 million yet unborn, would mean that every Nigerian, as at June 2022, is indebted to the tune of 170,000 naira each. He recalled that the Labour Party presidential candidate, P2B, had on many occasions recommended that government borrowing must be as 33.5% of the previous year's revenue, saying, however, the All Progressive Congress government ignored the White Council of P2B. He said, it is necessary at this juncture for Nigerians to immediately join the cry for the demand for the resignation of the All Progressive Congress from a seat of government, now that it is not in doubt that it has finally ruined a substantial part of the future of Nigeria with this unavoidable act of running the country into insolvency. The growing cluelessness of the All Progressive Congress in its competent management of the country's economy is easily observed from the silly and unending oil subsidy deduction choreographed calculators come. The Ogun political held that the federal government can build two oil refineries with 11 trillion naira instead of wasting money on full subsidy. He lamented that the All Progressive Congress government is proposing 6.7 trillion to fund for subsidy, while it is planning to borrow 11 trillion to support the 2023 budget expenses. Fellow citizens, the painful truth is that 11 trillion naira can build from scratch two good refineries for the country. Unless the being wickedly must gauge, unless we the being wickedly must get Nigerians as a collective pool resources and work together to influence a change quickly and the political leadership of the country. It will not be long when Nigeria will be turned into an extinct nation by the All Progressive Congress APC. The Labour Party has chosen to advise the All Progressive Congress to immediately withdraw all its candidates from the 2023 elections and save itself the embarrassment of repeated public lies and falsehood that has become its main character in government. No responsible Nigerian will try to insult his integrity by either secretly or publicly trying to converse vote for the All Progressive Congress with its record of ethnic bigotry 
official rascality and unheard of incompetence and cheerful cluelessness. It is now clear that the All Progressive Congress has gone beyond the point where it can start to repent. It is so insulting and unintelligent. Nigeria must be sure that the All Progressive Congress led federal government is bent and completely ruining running Nigeria into irreversible poverty and misery. No one should be hesitant in becoming part of a political struggle to send the All Progressive Congress out of Nigeria out of government if it fails to resign honorable right now. In view of those deliberate infraction, divisiveness, wickedness and lawlessness, Labour Party hereby calls for the immediate withdrawal of the All Progressive Congress candidate from the 2023 general election so that Nigeria would not go into final extinction, he submitted. Now, <laughs> I said something and I, it caused me to chuckle. Now, we all know that this government, they don't do a shiki. Nobody's supposed to be reminding us to vote wisely. In fact, this um, 23rd election, nobody's supposed to tell you, say, see you to vote. I've said it several days before. Nobody's supposed to come and say, ah, eh, see you go vote for. Because things are, we, as in, you know how things, they are ready. We are supposed to use our thumb to count out it. How clean is Peter B? Does he confess before taking the Holy Communion? Remember that he is a Catholic, has discriminated against non Catholic yet. Other Christian body wants to collectively vote for him because Tunubu went to Muslim Muslim ticket. You have kept all his atrocities aside and you tell people that you are voting a credible leader. Hamamana. I don't understand. You have said nothing. Say one thing, we will say, <laughs> you are saying <laughs> he did, does not support the Catholic Abikile. I don't even understand what's in the money talk. Labour Party is an irrelevant political party. Labour Party is known for protest, rally, and no politics. That is why you see them rallying and protesting. Labour Party is only doing protest, rally. Okay, no problem. <laughs> Labour Party has sunk the all progressive Congress kleptocratic ship filled with thieves. Nigerians are tired of their lies, deceit, corruption. They should hide their faces in shame as the most corrupt administration in the history of Nigeria. Well, that thing, that particular part, now you and me get the assignment. They have done their bit. It is now time for us come to into the free to make sure that at the end of the day, at the end of the day, um, the APC and other persons who have kept Nigeria as its present state eh, are going to be sacked. And then the people of Nigeria can finally breathe or heave the sigh of relief. All right, on this note, you've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.